this is the world's first commercial biological computer running on living human cells. The CL1 computer is the brainchild of Melbourne-based Cortical Labs. This is where the neurons uh, would be embedded in. CEO and founder Han Wang Chong says it fuses cell-derived neurons with silicon, creating a new class of AI known as synthetic biological intelligence. Unlike using artificial neural networks, we grow real biological neurons into networks onto computer chips. It sounds like science fiction, but Han says the CL1 is capable of learning and adapting faster than standard silicon-based AI, while consuming significantly less energy. We take blood or skin and we can transform them into stem cells and from stem cells into brain cells or neurons that we then uh, use them for compute and uh, intelligence. Han says the neurons grow on silicon chip with tiny electrical contacts connecting them to the digital hardware and it's equipped with an artificial life support system to keep the cells healthy. We have pumps like the heart, uh, waste feeding reservoirs, uh, filtration units like the kidneys, and we have a gas mixer to take carbon dioxide, oxygen, uh, and nitrogen. Han says the CL1 could revolutionize drug testing and personalize medicine. With this kind of technology, we potentially could grow um, neurons taken from patients with, say, uh, a dementia or with epilepsy and test compounds and drugs that would then be personalized and tailored to that patient. But Han believes the CL1's potential doesn't end there, saying it could usher in a new age of AI. In the short term is we can use it for life sciences, for personalized medicine, for drug discovery and development. But the longer term vision of the company here is to pioneer a new form of computing where we can actually use these neurons that can process information with much quicker speed, with much less data, and with much more energy efficiency so that we can get to intelligence but without the significant costs associated with it. CL1 computers are destined for laboratories and research facilities capable of cultivating their own cells. They'll be manufactured to order and ready to ship later this year.